All right, buddy. <laughs> Woo! That's what I'm talking about. The old double, very first try. Got about a 15 inch target and I'm smoking it. So what I'm doing, if you can see, is I've placed one arrow below, directly below my knock. Okay, right here. I've got the other one about a quarter inch below that. And that way they're both sitting on the riser, my bare recurve. And the biggest thing is that these points are super close together. Pretty fun little trick shot, pretty easy to do um, once you get used to shooting aerials, but pretty fun way to play around. Oh! <laughs> so right now I'm two out of three. I'm actually three out of three on hitting the target. I'm two out of three on hitting the double. It's just a fun, easy way to play around. And in just a second, I'll show you exactly how I do it. One right in the bullseye. Bring that up here, Bart. Now, right now, we are four out of four for hitting it. Three out of four for hitting it with the doubles. This is just, you can buy all kinds of great targets. This is one I made. It's about 15 inches around, but it's super easy to hit it with one arrow. It's pretty fun to play around and shoot it with two. Well, this is my hunting bow. Um, this is the the newer Mag Riser by Bear Archery. Um, and I've got some, uh, some brand new limbs on this as well. And this is what I hunt with. I use Gateway two and a half inch, the Gateway Batwing feathers. Those are my hunting arrows. Actually, I just shot a pig with it in California last week. And I love shooting aerials. It's fun to shoot aerials. And most people shoot them with flu flus, which is what you want to do. And uh, it just keeps the arrow from going too far. So this is how you make a shot like that. I'm shooting only about a 15 inch piece of cardboard and I literally just stapled a few of them together, put a piece of tape around it to hold it, spray painted it, but I put an orange dot so I would have something for my eye to look at. So I'm shooting off the shelf here. I'm shooting an Easton Axis Traditional and I put one arrow on the bow just like I normally would. Then I come in and slide another one underneath that one and I put it anywhere from a quarter to a half an inch below the first one. Can you see that okay, Mark? So when I draw, although normally I shoot split finger like this if I was shooting one arrow, when I do this, I'm setting it up to where I'm about a half inch below. But the important part is, can you see here at the end, both those arrows are laying right on top of each other and they're pointing in basically the same direction. So when you're talking about a closer 10 yard, 15 yard shot, it's not gonna be exact, but it's gonna be pretty dang close. Then I'm actually drawing with my tab right below this one. So as I draw, I'll turn Mark this way so you can see the tip of those arrows. As I draw, you see how those arrows are right together? They're staying right together and they're gonna go in the same spot. So it's just a fun thing if you wanna play around, do some fun aerials, grab yourself some full length, you know, gateway feathers, make yourself some flute flu arrows, go out and shoot some aerials. But if you wanna have a lot of fun, slap two or three on there and see what your buddies think of that.